and that exciting thing is my food shop came. So I'm just going to go through with you what I got, how much it all was, um, how many meals I'm going to get out of it and how long it should last us. But I really hope you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you did and let's get into it. Na, 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 na. So to start off with, Tesco's actually given me a few substitutions. They actually, I have noticed, Bedford Tesco, so much better. Swindon Tesco, I've had multiple substitutions every time, and they've also made mistakes in my order every time. Come on Tesco, what is this? So, um, everything that you are going to see today, I have purchased in one go, and it all cost me £87.34. My aim for this is, all of this stuff is covering things that I'm topping up in the house that we ran out of, like toothpaste, um, little bits in the kitchen, um, and also guinea pig food, so that does take up a portion of it as well. But everything else is either being used for lunches or for breakfast or to go into batch cooking meals. So let's have a look, shall we? So we're going to start this off with the drinks section of the video and of my grocery haul. So to start off with, we have got this Tropicana pressed apple juice. This is a 1.4 litre carton and it fits really nicely in my door. So I get this every time. Um, I've also got loads and loads of water. I also have got another bottle of diet lemonade. I already have three of those here and I believe one that is still on the go. So I now have four bottles of lemonade, which should last me ages. I also topped up on some Robinson squash. I have tried the cheaper ones, but to be honest with you, this truly does taste so much better. So I much prefer this one. And it's still no added sugar, so really happy with that. So now we have got our milk. This was one of our substitutions. I actually ordered Oatly. I much prefer Oatly oat milk. Then I also brought this Outpro Soya Light. I actually did buy this one. This is just for me to make um, a white sauce to go with my chicken pie that I'm going to be batch cooking later. Now we're going to go to veg. So this is all my veg today. Um, it does look like I've got quite a lot, but I wanted to make sure I was prepared. So to start off with, I've brought three of these twin packs of broccoli and then they've given me one big one by the looks of it as well so this broccoli is just to go as a side to meals anything that we have that we batch cook i always um cook it in the f in the oven and then i serve it with veg so this is just part of my fresh veg to serve with our meals and then these are just a couple packs of leeks just for serving on the side of things and also for putting in my chicken pie and this is a lot of parsley i did actually order four of the 100 gram bag ones but uh, they substituted, so I got one 100 gram bag and then I got five 30 gram bags, which Tesco, if you work that out, that is not a substitution. I got 400 grams of parsley and I ended up with 250, so fabulous. Thanks, Tesco. So next I got these celery sticks. These I use for my sweet potato beef stew. So it's basically beef stew topped with sweet potato, so it's like a cottage pie but with chunks of beef. Um, and these are also for guinea pigs as well. So they will be a mixture of for my stew and for the guinea pigs. I also brought a lemon and some roasting herbs, but they didn't have any roasting herbs. They've given me rosemary, which is a bit annoying, but these are for my chicken because I'm gonna make a roast chicken and this is what I'm gonna stuff the chicken with. I also have a massive bag of carrots, which is for a mixture of dinners, batch cooking meals and also for the guinea pigs. I also have got four of these big packs of green beans. These are 220 grams and I got four of these. So again, these I like to serve with my batch cooking meals. This is the same, some tender stem broccoli just for serving with meals. I absolutely love tender stem broccoli. So even though I've got that broccoli, I also like having tender stem broccoli. And again, this is gonna last us a long time. So that's great. I also have two bags of curly kale here. This is again for sides for meals and also for the guinea pigs, but mainly for the guinea pigs. I also have three bags of sweet potatoes. So I have three kilograms of sweet potatoes. And these are going to be for the uh, top of my beef stew pie. Um, I also have four of these packs of romaine hearts. 
Um, so there's two in each one of these, so I have eight of them, and they are for the guinea pigs. I give the guinea pigs one every night. So that is what they are for. I also have got some Maris Piper potatoes because this is just to go on sides of meals again. Whatever we have, I can serve it with some mash and some veg. That's, so that's what that's for. And then last in this section is some blackberries. Um, I wanted to get Josh and I a treat, so Josh asked for blackberries. So now moving on to the meat. Please excuse the stuff in the sink. <laughs> um, so this is my large chicken. So this is what I'm going to roast. I'm planning on covering it with butter, stuffing it with lemon and rosemary and roasting it in the oven. And then I'm going to peel all the skin off. Um, shred up the chicken and put it in a chicken pie which is going to be absolutely delish and I can't wait for it if it wasn't for the fact that it was five past nine I would totally be making this like straight away for dinner um so next we also have these which were randomly gifted to us so I actually ordered these uh Boswell Farms beef steaks so these are for my beef stew um top sweet potato pot topped pie my gosh I keep struggling to say that every time these are for my beef stew topped with sweet potato cottage pies um so I like to get the cheaper ones um I normally get the casserole steaks but they didn't have any so this was the next best thing um but for some reason they've given us two ribeye steaks so great I'll take it so we actually got these for free and they are six pounds each so we got 12 pounds worth of steak for free thanks tesco um we also have this bacon so i am gonna uh, put bacon on top of the chicken when i roast it i'm also going to put bacon inside the chicken pie that i'm making and i also wanted some bacon for making bagels with so like bacon and egg bagels because i'm really loving them and then I also finally in my meat section have got these chicken thighs. Um, so I freeze these in twins and then Josh has them for his lunches. So I bag them up, freeze them, and then he gets them out and roasts them every day at lunch. Now, the final section of the shop. So I basically got this uh, flora plant-based butter. So this is the stuff that I am going to use to smother my chicken in. Just because um, it's harder like normal butter. Um, it tastes a lot better like normal butter this is quite oily um, whereas this is a lot harder so it like cooks a lot nicer when you're roasting stuff like that um, I also just topped up on some of our flora this is just our spread that we use um, I also got this as a bit of a treat um, this is dairy free whipped cream which is so so good I highly recommend it if you're dairy free it's absolutely lovely and I'm going to just be using this for hot chocolates <laughs> And then this is just some light brown soft sugar that I topped up for my baking cupboard. And then this is some self-raising flour just to top up my baking cupboard. And then again, I got some baking powder and some bicarbonate of soda as well to top up my baking cupboard. I also have run out of cocoa powder. So that is also for my baking cupboard. Um, and then I also have got this chicken gravy, which I added to my order. And then... I realized that we had some in the cupboard so Josh told me we didn't have any so I ordered some and when I found out that we had some I forgot to take it out so mixture of both are fault there I also ordered this which is Nesquik hot chocolate again for those of you who are dairy free this is so so good so that is the Nesquik hot chocolate which I think is really cheap it was £2.60 and you get 400 grams so that lasts you quite a while um, I also got marshmallows for my hot chocolates. I tried to get mini ones, but they didn't have any, which I was super sad about. Um, so I'm going to just put a couple on and just chop them up so that they're mini, because I like having mini marshmallows. Um, I also brought uh, a top up of our toothpaste. This is the toothpaste that we use for anyone that's interested. I also got some pastry for our pie. So I got a short crust pastry. I always get short crust for the bottom of the pie and then puff for the top. And I got two of each because I'm batch cooking. 
And then last, but definitely not least, because I'm gonna tuck into these once I finish filming this video, but I got some New York bagels, um, the original, there's five in there, and then I also got the cinnamon and raisin. So that's just gonna be for breakfasts and lunches and whatever. I wouldn't top these up, I would just eat them, and then once they're gone, they're gone. I would never like go back to the shop and top them up. It's more of like a little treat. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. I hope it was helpful. I hope you had some ideas for food shops in the future. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be filming a batch cooking video at some point that will be coming out after this. So keep your eyes peeled for that if you're interested to find out what I've made with this food shop. And I, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below and I'll see you in another one. Bye guys.